When you give your DNA to an online website or a commercial website, it can go a lot uh, more places than you might imagine. This is a kind of very unregulated space and a little bit of a wild, wild west space. So there's been a number of government or public-private partner efforts to collect genomic information, and they are all dwarf in comparison to what the consumer genetics companies have been able to collect through people voluntarily. You know, they have databases of millions of people's genetic information. You know, I think if you're in the precision medicine or research world and you think that the genome is going to help answer a lot of really pressing questions that are pertinent for human health or well-being, having that information can be really helpful. I, I think there's a cost, there could be a price. These are for-profit companies and ultimately their responsibility is to maximize their profits, not to protect your privacy. Even shared in an anonymous capacity, research has shown that sharing a limited a limited amount of genetic data allows you to extrapolate the entire rest of the genome fairly reliably. So you think, oh, I'm only sharing this little bit of information, but actually from that we can well guess your entire genome. There also needs to be a much more rigorous regime of privacy protection about who can access this information, how, if it's aggravated, how you handle it. So I think the take home would be to pay attention and um, ensure that you're making the choices that are right for you.